Uh, how do I normally start these streams again? It's, uh, it's all just flowing right out my head. I've been too busy thinking about how to make other people stream by running that retro marathon that's coming up in a couple of weeks. Which I'll be sure to take the opportunity to shell during today. Shell? Shill during today. Uh, but what is happening today is a wild card, and that wild card is on Dying Light. This game has tried and failed on the long playlist before, but it still sits unloved in my Steam library. I want to go and check it out here today. I don't know how long for. I really have no idea how long for. we got all day, but I don't know if it's a game that I'm going to want to play all day. I'm kind of hoping that it scratches a bit of the itch that I have from State of Decay 2. State of Decay 2 is a brilliant game, but it's also a game that I have beaten senseless and don't really feel a lot of desire to go back to. Maybe in time I'll go, hmm, nothing quite like it, I might as well just go back to playing a bit more State of Decay 2, but I hope to find- well, actually there'll be State of Decay 3, won't they? And on top of that, well, apparently there's going to be a Dying Light 2. Well, maybe that's going to be worth picking up, depends on how Dying Light 1 is here. So, enough preamble, let's get into it. We shall play the campaign. Now, I'm coming in here with very little, actually, I would even say no expectations on the game, aside from what was put on the long play submission list, pretty much all of which I've forgotten, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's delete this old save. Oh, I can feel the consolitis on the, uh, on the controls here. Uh, I might as well play it on normal mode here, I've got nothing to prove. And I haven't seen this intro, so let's enjoy Time that together. Activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Iran. Data on the subject, Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject, the stolen file. Yep, in 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion's structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. That wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! Oh, <sighs> 
Tower. This is Jade. Get sick bay ready. Got a guy with a bad head wound and a bite on one arm. Oh shit, Amir's hurt? No. Amir is gone. But I'm bringing in someone who might still survive. One of us? We'll see. You pinch him. You're scared. Not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Ah! Run! Right, now between his parachuting expertise and his competence in battle, I can only assume that this is Baron Von Ohn dropping into not Dubai to fight off the zombie hordes. Things seem pretty stupid and zombie game-like so far. Let's see where we're going with it. You sleep for three days like a dead man and scare children? Off to a great start, 31. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Wait, I've collected points? Number. That community event thing. Collected points, 4.5 mil... What? <laughs> oh wait, are you willing to talk to me now? That's a no. Oh, it's potions, not points. Ah. Because of this guy? Quiet. Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get Amir's anti -sin. Hey, where's room 190? Upstairs. We're just getting picked off, one by one. And you are? Crane. Uh, 31. Oh, right. Um, how's your head? My head. Got it. Listen up. Until the boss says so, you are not on the list. So go talk to him ASAP and let's get things moving. Now, if you'll excuse me. How do you feel today? Bad. I'll I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. It's all very pretty so far. Reminds me of walking around in Resident Evil 7, but not having as dire time as I did playing Resident Evil 7. Mm, I can't read cursive. But I can watch television. The GRE is working night and day for you. And they're comprised of elephants. I do like elephants. Hope to meet one someday. Okay, let's go and talk to... Uh... Talk to the boss. Hey, I'm looking for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antigen was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. 
So now you take the antisen meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not... I'm not lazy. I'm just... Hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave -in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. I'm not sure what Far Cry level of dialogue is meant to mean. I haven't played Far Cry. I'm lazy, you little shit. Doesn't seem like my kind of game. But oh, crap, and smoking indoors, right? I, I'm with the, uh, I'm with the young boss here. I need to get out of here. Check for the lost survivor on the thirteenth floor. Can I get further down? I'm assuming I'm on floor eighteen right now. Still, nobody wants to talk to me. Can I use my radio? No, not a lot going on there. You playing, kid? Is that uh, PSP? PS Vita? One's a better proposition than the other when it comes to the games. God, anyone here actually get a PlayStation Vita? The level of disappointment with getting one of those is through the roof. <laughs> it's playing Pilot Wings. I've played Pilot Wings on my PSP before. Had that thing jailbroke into hell and back. Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Can I get anything? A club of sorts? Jesus. How many people died here? <laughs> it's the first thing he wants to check out. The pram. For a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisent ASAP. No! You... Help! Somebody! What the hell? Alright, let's try doing some helping, but maybe first, let's figure this part out. Left click, smashing things, there appears to be a... a fatigue bar. We are horrifically out of shape. That's just like house, then. Run with shift. Oh, it's toggle. So is crouching. And that's quite visceral. E to kick, and left click to batter. So let's go and help somebody. I cut my arm getting away from him. Oh God, you had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it. That was, that was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Uh, 
Not sure I share their take on the risk assessment here, but oh well. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss! You've got to find some goss! Oh, and alcohol! Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry! I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Need to help out Rummy here. Uh, we can make a med kit out of alcohol and gauze. Oh, we do have a flashlight. Great. I hope that doesn't have a power limiter on it, because I'm not good at the dark. Maybe these yellow areas we need to check out. The kicking animation feels so strange with the first person perspective. Uh, so another first person zombie game I played was Dead Island, and I thought that game was terrible. I'm not sure to what degree it was the whole first person approach, but it was not much fun at all. Here's hoping this is a significant improvement over the formula. Didn't I make a sequel to that? Dead Island 2? I think the whole reason I got the game was it had a pretty damn good trailer. But the game ended up being nothing at all like the trailer. Salavi. Am I missing something here? Ah, yeah, there we go. I believe this guy's not keeping his video games in his fridge. Lots of duct tape, so like every zombie game out there, there's going to be crafting. Jeez, can I...? Ah, oh, what a shame. And what a strange place to put this tape up on. And come to think of it, what would have taken out the wall and only the well, best not to ask these questions. I don't want some poor level designer losing sleep tonight. This is mostly Dead Island plus parkour, so Dead Island plus, say, Mirror's Edge. Might be able to get behind that. This game, if I recall well, performed quite terribly in the... Yoink. Terribly in the long play votes. I'm wondering, is there a... Oh yeah, it looks like there's a durability on this weapon. It's that red bar in the bottom right, which I probably mashed out pretty badly by battering down the pillar early on. Well, too bad, I don't regret my actions. I did what I had to do. And you, you're probably some gauze. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Quite like looting aspect. As long as it's not too tedious, looting a game like this is pretty damn good. It was great in State of Decay. I loved looting. Especially the whole looting and trying not to draw too much attention to yourself aspect. And you had options. Decisions that you had to make quickly and on the spot. Kind of like when you're playing some Doom. Right, here you are. So if I... Right, is that an I or an L? L for blue? No, that's L for quests. That's I. I for inventory. So let's get some alcohol and combine it with the gauze. Oh no, it does want me to do blueprints. Really? Whatever. Blueprints. Medkit. Create. You keep feeding me those achievements, game. Well, that's gonna sting. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes and alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. <laughs> well done, 31. Yeah, it was really dangerous down here, but don't worry, I managed. Hey, 31. 
Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Back to him, where was he again? Oh, well, the minimap's actually rather helpful for telling me exactly where I need to go. Government? All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. Make for a very easy way to do that. So, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. <laughs> is it an explosive belt? Okay, let's hop to it. What did he say? One nine something? I'm really terrible at listening to verbal instructions. Oh, well, you know, this is actually pretty nice. I bet Orlov's watching this right now, wishing they could live here. It's got a floor, even. Right, this is your stash, you can change clothes, leave items in storage, you'll get new outfits as your thing goes up. Well, good for that. Fresh clothes. Crash test dummy outfit. Ninja outfit. This must be what I need to wear for my, uh... Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. What do I find my mission? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. This guy's gonna get worn out just climbing the stairs at this rate. Are you suggesting you prefer to read your instructions? <laughs> no, no, heavens no. I prefer just not to get any instructions. Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Ooh, I can smell the parkour from here. Yeah, yeah, I think I know what's going on here, game. The implication here. A running jump. Oh, easy now. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not sure I'd have the wards to be doing this. There we go. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, alright? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself! Don't be a wimp. 
<laughs> Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. I am unconvinced about this, but okay. He said the very bottom, right? Easy does it. Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Really, though, I was landing on a pile of garbage. From what would that be? 40 meters? Maybe 30 meters. Yeah, no way. No way in hell. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. God, I'm running like it's Mass Effect as well. Says, does it don't stop? But oh, I'm meant to be going up here. All right, get up on that scaffold and don't fall because there sure as hell ain't no net. That's my favorite cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for 10 minutes if you can't do that. Hey, can he jump on this as well? I, I did not come into this expecting a parkour game. I still haven't gotten around to playing Mirror, uh, Mirror's Edge. Good job. Perhaps okay. even too good. Time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. Too high for me. Well, I could just shimmy along there, but I wonder if I can take a more vertical route. Take back all the horrible things I was saying about this guy's stamina, though. Okay, that's enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You've done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. One thing I wish they'd avoid more in games is just filleting the main character with the things that they do. What? What is happening to me? Crane? Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Crane, talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh shit, I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. <laughs> it's malaria, I need some... I need some gin right now. Uh, okay, just down from here. Uh, buddy. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Seizures remind you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizin. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. 
He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Yeah, I'm with you there, Rosa. Being told you're good to keep playing, generally I want to keep playing when the game is telling me I'm doing terribly. Where's the challenge otherwise precisely? Something I remember well is... Oh, what was it? Was it Fable 2? Maybe Fable 1? Something like that. You're making pies. And the lassie just says, these are the best pies I have ever had. It's like, you're just some bum that turned up and started making pies. Speaking of which, Fable is going to be run... shortly. I think it's weekly one shot 201. Where are they? Where am I going here? Ah, that's right, I need to go down and see the dock. Alright, they've given me an actual job. And nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. You're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you've survived a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you, but don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated and since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> oh, right, things actually cost money here. Guess we are in not Dubai, aren't we? But... Doesn't look like I have any. What a shame. Uh, before leaving, take some stuff from the court of what? Is he just going to give it to me? I mean, if it's going, sure. Can I get my very own table leg? You're a generous man. Oh, blimey, you look set up for this. And I believe there was indication of some antazine for me. Not down there. There was a button for flashlight. What was that again? T. There we go. Going outside, yeah. Not really. I was meant to get some antazine. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Okay, noob. You got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced-in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, Ooh. kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sight. Be amazed at how much I can miss noise. something. Sound attracts those fuckers. Let's try that out then. Oh well, this is uh, gonna become a problem. Ah, 
This feels fluid. Surprisingly fluid. Old R to repair it. What am I doing with it to repair it? Oh, maybe I used some of my uh, supplies to repair this pipey thing. Hello, friends. How do I change through my items, then? Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now, but you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, now where did I put that injector? And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? I was thinking that as well, Varg. The icon signs on that guy's desktop. Gave me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. I could do some real gameplay. Hey, keep a distance from Rise's men. They just as soon shoot you as look at you. Keep a lookout for the colored smoke. It means air drop. Hey Spike, I'm Crane. <laughs> just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with Antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without Antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day, because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antison, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Firecrackers, very powerful in State of Decay 2. Search dead bodies, chests, abandoned cars, pieces of furniture, even trash bins. For money! Excellent, finally, something I'm good at. Looting is the key, life by the survivors, rooftops, beyond the reach of zombies, weapons, or other valuables. Very good. 
feel like the implication is that there's one right up here. Also, this <laughs> safe zone does not feel particularly safe. Uh, skill points. I meant to put those to use. Mm. Probably under skills. You have skill points. Select something. Agility, power, legend level. Oh, I can't get legend levels going. Alright, might as well go power. Face opponents directly, it sounds about right. So get. Oh, Jeng's choices. I'm not sure if I can get any of these right now. They all look awfully locked to me. Okay, if we come out of that. Oh, right, it's the survivor rank that I got, not just any old rank. So if I get myself some survivor ranking, I can get myself a starter kit, craft the most basic things, lock picks, fire crack, yeah, well, sure thing. I pretty much doubled the field of view for this game, and it already feels like it's not quite enough. That guy looks awfully conspicuous, doesn't he? Bet he's got something for me. It's called ADS. I bet there's loot there. Something seemed not quite right about the way he exploded, though. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right. So. Oh my! Right. So they come and grab you, and you want to be mashing F to take care of them. The more you know. Now, how invincible are you if you're up somewhere like this? Hmm, pretty invincible. Kind of surprised at that. And this guy's got some rock solid aim. Look at that, the. He's, he's not even moving his gun in the slightest. Stone Cold Killer here. Right, you look like you got stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everybody's carrying money. It's my kind of place. Some of them even have dried pumpkins for me. Fags as well. I've never been to Dubai, or rather, not Dubai here. But I would have thought they'd carry a bit more money on them. Does this mean that killing begets more killing because you can get money to invest into the ability to kill yet more? I don't know. Perhaps we'll find out. Anyway, what was I meant to do? Prepare a trap. Sure, get right on that. Where's my health? Uh, health is in top left, it's 82. And there's a medical symbol saying 2 on it. Maybe that's some kind of live system? I don't know. <laughs> Killing bro Instagram influencers. <laughs> Taking their last few dollars off of them. Good thing I'm wearing my ninja outfit for that. Jade here. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runners tried to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Zephyr and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. Alright, I'm on it. Come on, champ. Let me pat you down.
Fatty, fatty. Oh, man. I get that they have these kinds of events to drive engagement for the game, but when it's your first time player experience, I feel it kind of drags you out of the whole thing. Looting these people for pumpkins. Decide how ineffective it is. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sure that's something that'll get old at some point, but the idea of just patting down these zombies for the last few quid is tickling me rotten. But I can't check out the van. A little unsure about switching weapon here, though. Is it just done through scroll wheel? I mean, that's normally how I shift weapons, but... Maybe there's another significantly better way. It said, hold tab. Ah, this is much better. So I can get my... My what? Rusty adjustable wrench. Ah, I like my first weapon here. Can I grab some bricks? Let's hurl a bricky mart. core is where it's at here. And it doesn't look like there's any sort of stamina when it comes to you running and jumping around. I do appreciate that. Oh, I don't appreciate lock picking mechanics though. To pick a lock, move the pin with the mouse button, rotate the screwdriver with A to turn the lock. If it begins to vibrate, it might break. Don't force it. Oh. Oh, there goes that one. I am awful at these kinds of uh, lock picking puzzles. It's just ridiculous because I can actually pick locks in real life. Lock picks made from metal parts, which I lack. That looks like a basic pin tumbler, which would be openable with a rake in a few seconds. <laughs> I can I can climb up uh, these poles, okay. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. I will. Give me the goods. Hold on, isn't there a yeah, I can just kick them. There we go. Too late for this guy. Oh, he won't suffer. <laughs> okay, it's done. Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. <laughs> there was no alternative. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Oh, so safe zones will only be safe if they're lit at night? That already sounds really cool. Oh, but it needs to be done in... I thought I already looked at that. Uh, 
that shit. Get onto the building's roof, contact the GRE. Any building? Also, there's got to be a way to get rid of this community event nonsense. That is taking up far too much of the screen real estate. That field of view, just max it out. Mm. Online already looks disabled. Well, that's a that's a goddamn shame. How's it coming? Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. His fingers must be hurting like crazy. Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer, and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane, thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. It's, it's getting a little dark, though, guys. Alright, more car traps. I mean, this place is lit up. Doesn't look all that lit up. Maybe we only turn the lights on at night time. Go to the main menu. Da, 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 da. Does that mean I'd have to come out of this? I don't know if it's saved or not. Is it safe? I mean, that community event stuff is really cheesing me off. Maybe the bed lets you save. There was a bed? Well, there was my player's stash, at least. Do I have a limit to how much I can carry? <laughs> also, what use are these freaking pumpkins? I'll better carry them just in case. A story event happens, that saves the game with auto saves. It's auto saves, checkpoint at safe zone, sounds reasonable. Whatever, let's come out of this then. And just assume that it has saved. Options, online, community event, no. Absolutely not. Now let's get back to it. Hmm? Was I playing with the event or not? Probably not. Pumpkins are part of the. Oh, okay, then I, I must have the whole got trapped in one of the safe houses. I thought I could help him, but he'd already turned. Oh, the poor bastard. This is not what I signed up for. Yeah, my foot still hurts. Places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. Where the okay. heck am I? Thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. Very nice of the game to reset Expected the time of day, though. Street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops. Nonsense. It's all about being on They're the street. Oh! The car, Spike. You still have some firecrackers, don't you? Just throw some into the crowd. Do do do. Okay, right. They're not having any of that. Right. Firecrack. Firecrack. How much that works. Oh, 
Didn't seem to work all that well. Well, I'll keep the bulk of my weight, and then I can pick off the stragglers that are near the car. Poorly. I feel like lucky playing Umbrella Chronicles here. Alright, that should be fine. Just crank her open. Do that with our bare hands. Well, I suppose we're wearing our ninja outfit, aren't we? Can I duck in here? Oh, that is cool. Grab ourselves some video games. That's right, fools. Just stay right over there. All done with the car, Spike. Keep on like that, you just might make it. The next trap's close by, and I shouldn't have to tell you, but don't get caught out in the open. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? You can't. I told you, they're only for the night mission. Shit. Okay. Loving this parkour so much. When did this game come out? There's a sequel that uh, I believe it said coming out in February 2022. So I'd place this at maybe a 2017 release? 2015? Well, jings, I am impressed. You know me, not easily impressed. <laughs> I think there's a lot of power in my legs, so I'm not sure I could kick a fully grown human that far. Let's have a bit more of that. Oh, can I kick you onto that spiked old... Well, all this spiky stuff. Oh, well, sometimes you don't have to. Not to knock it, but State of Decay 2 came out about three years later. And this looking nice... What? Not sure to what degree that makes sense. And kicking people down the stairs. So games are all about the power fantasy. Now, how am I meant to be getting up this thing? Figured I'd just go in through the door, but that's uh, that's not happening. Can I climb up these bits? That's a no. Get back, I'm thinking here. Probably need to jump onto that in some way. Oh yeah, not happening. There's something criminally obvious I'm missing here. I, I need to get up and onto this. Ah, yes, yes there is. Quite a contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the infected quite the sunburn. You know what? The writing isn't terrible. My tolerance for bad writing in video games isn't that great. Not anymore. Do we exactly? Ah, agility. Give me that. Dodge, 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 jump. So, yeah, okay. I'm sure it'll happen by accident. You seem to tolerate just causes writing pretty well, Jake. Actually, uh, I take off my headphones when streaming and there's just periods of horrible writing. Oh, dearie me, that was probably bad.
even enemies can lessen the impact of your fall. Yeah, they... They're liking that. The zombies are awfully unthreatening. But I suppose I'm only playing on normal mode here. Can't begrudge that too much. Maybe they become more plentiful or faster. Perhaps come night time. Jake, you have a PowerPoint to spend as well. I do. Must have missed that. I did. Okay. Learn how to attack great precision. Each strike with a blunt to an enemy's face. Yeah, I take that as well. I wonder to what degree you just become unstoppably powerful in this game. What am I missing here? That's it. to get up that thing? Hmm. Oh, do I have DLC weapons right now? Wasn't aware. Ooh, that didn't work at all. I'd rather that wasn't available, or rather it was something I could turn off, because I don't like coming into a game and having all these starter things that just make you incredibly powerful. Oh, jeez, I am failing that jump badly. The guns you got are of some sort of DLC, you could just drop them. I like where you're coming from. Inventory... Uh, drop. Uh, C to drop all. Drop. Drop all. And where's the guns themselves? Drop. Drop. There we go. Say no to crutches. Drop the cash to- I found that cash fair and square. Oh, I'm, I am messing that up so badly. And <laughs> the ninja suit. No, I'm keeping the ninja suit on. Alright, 33rd time the charm on this jump. Somebody was mentioning the co-op earlier. They said either that something is a pain with or without the uh, the co-op. Can't remember which. There we go. Okay, lights are all set. You waiting for the next one, then? Better hurry. <laughs> Doesn't use stamina to kick the crap out of them. Seems beneficial to me. This has actually given me some real flashbacks to playing Dead Island, though. Just kicking everything. Good memories, I'll add. But the game was pretty terrible. I was wasting my metal parts on repairing this weapon. It all makes sense now. That means I couldn't make myself a fresh new lockpick. Alright, all done. 
Fuck, Spike, the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Oh, not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation near. Go check it out. Feels like it's getting a little late in the day for doing your homework for you, Spike. Fluorescent shrooms. Hey, this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here. Plus the safe zones and some of my traps are down too. Tight spot, you say? I don't know, but I want that weapon. Is this really my concern? Press Q to use your survivor sense. What? My survivor sense is tingling. It's like Nikki's bad game sense. Okay, well, uh, maybe I could kick these over to you. Or perhaps the best thing to do is just to vamoose. Get myself a gas pipe and a... I don't have my lockpicks, huh? Can you guys kill each other? That'd be nice. Come on, take a swing. Ah, screw you. I've got money to pilfer. Survivor Sense tells me there's stuff over there. Hmm. Game's hinting at me pretty heavily here. Oh, I need to map. Oh. My poor RSI. I've got the substation reset, but if the grid shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there. I have to. Could I not? A little curious about any kind of limit I have on what I can be carrying, because it feels like I'm carrying quite a lot. Oh, I can't kick when I'm crouched. Makes sense, I guess. We're not quite Slavic enough. Is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. I do want that weapon, though. Oh no, it is getting way too dark. We should uh, we should go to a shelter. You can hang out in the dark, you just might die though. Sounds thrilling. I wonder if I can hurt myself on all these spikes and things. No? Okay, we're pretty durable. Must be the ninja costume, keeping us too alive for our own good. Also, what am I meant to do with this pumpkin th Oh, oh, oh god, why am I drinking? It just reversed my controls when I drank that pumpkin. More than a little computer. Get down, I want your money. There we go, seven quid for killing someone. Not quite the going rate, I'd rather have 500 credits. Is that gonna... gonna produce a big... Oh, jeez! Well, that's how we learn. Bet 
you didn't know that fire was hot until you first burned yourself. Goodness, I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but this parkour is really good. Maybe I would enjoy playing Mirror's Edge. I bought that game 12 years ago and never played it. And this safe zone doesn't feel quite as safe as advertised. Look at that, what's that? Five and a half, six foot of wall? Oh shit. Oh, I knew it. That's what I'm thinking, Zanzibar. I'll see if it's on the list somewhere. Oh, hey, Doc. It's Kyle Crane. Chris, what can I do for you? I just saw this freaking weird zombies covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? <laughs> Not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know. Slept in worse places, but not much worse. Still. Let's take a lovely nap. Green, you awake? Something bad happened. We need to talk. Okay, give me a sec. Never want to talk to anybody that introduces uh, the conversation like that. Choose your experience. You've now completed the prologue. You're ready to survive the full Dying Light experience. Co-op, competitive challenge, and night hunter invasions. Or continue as a lone wolf co-op. Da, 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 da. Co-op, competitive challenge, invasions. This all sounds pretty awful. Nothing's going to ruin a zombie experience quite like sharing it with somebody else. Seems my gamer instinct was on point there. Chat is also saying don't do co-op. You're just pummeling me with DLC information right now. Hmm. Is this really ghetto way of collecting rainwater? Yellow ambulances. I wasn't aware that I had bought a whole lot of DLC when I got this game. Maybe I bought it in some kind of uh, some kind of sale that included a whole bunch more. No, do not get up. Do not pass go. And it will be me doing the collecting. Just another pack of fags, though. Is there any use for those? Inventory. Show me the ciggies. If I had to guess, they're sold for money. There we go, value 50 bucks. So maybe I can sell them to the quartermeister and he'll give me... I don't know what it'll give me. Hopefully not more DLC shotguns. Jake's version of Monopoly is somehow less terrifying. <laughs> I haven't played Monopoly in a long time. I wonder if that could be some kind of weekly one-shot. There must be digital versions of Monopoly. I rather enjoyed Monopoly, but that's sadism right there. That's what we're talking about. Show me the power. What can I do now? Your kick has a 10% chance to stun the enemy. Or lock onto three enemy- nope. All that DDR has to pay off some way. He says, having not played DDR in, what, like a month? Bye bye. Wow, it's disgusting. Jake can't stand coffee. Keep a distance from Rises, men. They just as soon shoot you 
as you look at you. Oh, friendly. Look okay. out for the colored smoke. It means air drop. Crane, first of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. And to start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Ah, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you. I hope I can stop working for these people at some point. I really don't care about their little plights. I wonder if it's Kata. Don't know what button I need to hit up to open up skills, but that's okay. Our survivor senses are tingling. Learn how to use the space in your backpack, carry them for new slots, or create boosters, fight that. Nah. I don't like passive things. And not passive, I don't like uh, temporary things. Hang on. Can I sell my stuff to you? You seem almost quarter mastery. There we go, oh, and he's got that, uh, that shotty. But it doesn't look like I can sell things. He's, he's selling stuff to me, but... Oh, Spike will provide you with free items each day. Well, <laughs> don't mind me. Thank you kindly. Something that State of Decay 2 did very well was... It, it didn't really care. It just gave you the map and said, on you go. There's a lot of errand boy going on here. Which is maybe more fitting for the type of game here. But I love State of Decay 2 so much it's unreal. I guess in the end I just want more State of Decay 2. Which hopefully State of Decay 3 will be. Are they just going to walk into this and kill themselves? It's very generous of them, although I feel a lot better if I, uh, you know, take matters into my own foot. Also, pat, pat, pat. Oh, that's what it's all about. This is how they get the cigarettes in Bahia. Red barrel isn't explosive. That one I know is a lie. Also, was there some way to execute people if they if you stun them? I'm not seeing a prompt on that. Be way up there. My forty-year-old brother actually bought State of Decay 2 because he stumbled on me watching one of your streams, says Lethrington. Well, then he made an excellent decision. Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. Craft a new item, but what can we craft? For when you want to take someone down, but send the message you're not worth a bullet, or for when you're out of bullets. At 230V. Some kind of electric thing? A candy cutter? Rusty spine? Are all the color? Oh yeah, colored stuff here is DLC weapons. Hmm. All the tops as well. I don't know, we seem to be doing just fine with our right foot. Oh yeah, what does my survivor sense tell me? Survivor sense? That just continues to crack me up. I don't think I'll be making that kind of jump though.
is the game pretending anyone cares about its plot? Says Wicker. Well, we're not even fully clued in about who we are. We're being sent here to secure the information about the virus. Ah, something to that effect. Okay, go figure. It's not going to let me in. I need to use my my survivor senses to figure out a way in. I wonder if I could climb up here and make my way along this. No? Okay, those are ethereal. How oh, nice. I wonder what happens if a zombie follows you this far. I imagine they could. This Halloween event stuff is really jarring. Doesn't mesh with the game at all. Alright, of course, I'm back where we started. Didn't even click with me that this was the tower. Okay, what's the story then? Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Halloween is over, it's time to advertise Christmas. Actually, it's time for me to advertise that in a couple of weeks we're going to run a retro game marathon on the channel. It's going to be uh, over two weeks of just back-to-back -back games, like the Nancy Drew marathon, but with 100% less Nancy Drew. There should be a link in the title right now, and if you want to get involved, you absolutely can. Should be fairly self-explanatory. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters, and then Rise's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him, and you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake! You can't even walk straight! We need you alive, you idiot! Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Act? Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right. Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. This that Zaid guy from Mass Effect Jade. 2? A moment. Sure. He Head just needs to start saying Goram. Doc, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Laura tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died. Two years ago, but Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very... insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, 
I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Gazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. What I don't understand is that hood. Looks like it kind of would go up all over your face. Right. There's all these exclamation marks. I wonder if it's the case that this is full of people that want us to take care of their homework. And the going rate is 500 credits. Good job out there, 31. Uh, I mean, Crane, right? Oh, no, they're just patting me on the back. For all that not much that I did. Daoud must still have a lot of things in that pawn shop of his. Yeah, probably a bit of everything, really. I sure could use some of that stuff now. Ow. I'm unsure just how much space I have in my inventory. Doesn't seem to be anything indicating it. Anyway, I picked up loads of gash, and I'm not sure how much that I really need, so I might as well just... Chuck it away. Oh, wait, no, the valuables I should just sell. But other things just... Must be a fast way to do this. Just click on something and... Da, 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 da. Take all items not occupying backpack slots. Oh, that's take. Hmm. The consolitis is strong here. Let's get rid of our... Oh, it's drunken pumpkin. I assume some kind of... Well, it was a drink. We know we drank that earlier. Got a load of these melee weapons. I don't know how much I'm going to be using those. Hit something X and C. Goodness, this is laborious. Especially since it keeps moving the screen for me. You can carry unlimited crafting supplies. Is that so? Well then, maybe I should just take everything out. Wasn't aware of that. Hold on, I think I was dropping them instead of adding them to storage. Well, that's a shame. Ah, they're still here. Yoink. Okay, I'll take a different approach. If my space doesn't run out, then it's not a problem. That seems like a sane approach. I should go and sell what I have to the guy. Was it you? There's a dollar sign here, so I'm guessing it's you. Hey, do you have spare keys for 202? Well, what's the problem? Something's going on in there. The door's locked from inside. Alright, here's our trader. I want to sell coffee, because I hate coffee, and cigarettes, because I certainly hate cigarettes. And he's given me a limited time offer on... Oh no, it looks like he will offer me good money for underwater algae. That's my guess, at least. Buyback. Oh, that's clever, though. A buyback option for things you might have accidentally sold. I myself have 1100 bucks. It sells a whole bunch of things, but I'm not sure to what degree I need any of these, so let's not bother. I seem to be doing just fine with my right foot. Contact RGE. You want me to go to the roof for that? 50 bucks for one cigarette and you smoking kills with that rate you can't even afford to. I somewhat suspect that I'm giving a box of fags, not just one. Oh, they love giving me the points here. Let's see. Grapple. Throw them around. Throw them around. While running, Manu. Oh, I like that. I like that. Run and. Uh, did I misunderstand? I thought I could press C to skate my way down. Ah, only if it's going through a passage. Dang. Oh well. A poor decision was made then. Here I, th here I thought I'd make my communication from the rooftop, but no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> doesn't look so good. Nice to see that it's populated around here, though. 
it just doesn't have the same flair as State of Decay 2, where your safe house is actually full of people that would at least make something of an effort to keep it safe. I love being in your safe house and just hearing the bullets flying from your people that were shooting zombies nearby. The trouble was those times where you really hope that your friends are shooting some of the zombies and they're not on the lookout tower when you are in hot pursuit. Or when they're in hot pursuit of you. Okay, right, enough reminiscing about State of Decay. Let's get out of here. I'm liking how seamless it is to go from one place to another, though. With most of the runners out of action, Brecken wants the scouts to take their place. That means me. We're supposed to go for the next airdrop, right before sunset. Jade will be showing me the ropes. Yeah, that won't be awkward at all. We're working on that GRE contact, though. Oh, we'll do it right out here? No, no, it wanted me to leave and then go somewhere that I contact him. It's fine by me. When's the new State of Decay coming? I do not know. And I'm not in contact with the State of Decay 2 people, so I don't have any inside information there. Does this freeze time, I wonder? Everything certainly Train goes here. blue. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen. It's lovely and refreshing to be playing as the bad guy in a game like this, though. Oh, jeez. Can I... Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to pat you down for goodies. Which I can still do? What was that all about? Good thing the money didn't burn. Quite a few games coming out in the not too distant future that I'm looking forward to. Victoria 3, State of Decay 3, Frostpunk 2, not notably all sequels, but that means you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. I assume this burning car hurts when you yeah, when you go near it. Oh, I'll help you all right. I wonder to what degree my foot is uh causing extra extra noise in the area. Right, there we go. That's a stun, but how do you get the execution on a stun? Look, I'm clearly here, buddy. Calm yourself. Oh, execution is a skill. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn it. Okay, you done yet? Holy moly. I guess the problem is that my item's all banged up. There must be some way to switch that out. Mm, equipped. Da 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 da. I thought that was a gun. Thank you, man. 
Well, you could thank me with some anything. Oh, cash! That's my favorite kind of reward. Right, what am I meant to do to switch out my weapons here? This is my backpack equipped. Not sure I get it. Can I swap that in with something? How's that gonna work? Right, 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 right. I understand now. These are the four that are on my immediate uh, tab wheel, and I want to switch out the busted ones or the not so busted ones. And I have eight spaces, and I'm assuming that weapons are the only thing that I'm limited on space for inside my backpack. Also, what was he moaning about? He seems pretty safe in there. I guess not to buy is just full of wimps in general. Never been to Dubai. Anybody in chat have? Is it a nice place? I imagine it's a busy place, so I probably wouldn't be a big fan of it. <laughs> oh, that is good. Crane, three quarters of all air drops fall in the cauldron. So if you start from there, you'll have the best chance of getting to that drop before Rice's men do. Cauldron. Oh, I hope this isn't going to be relying on my perception ability. There's not a lot of that. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most and there's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. Well, I really though. I'm not about this. Well, that's the end of that. I just, I just am not cut out for these kinds of uh, kinds of lockpicky puzzles. Fucking hell! Hope I don't end up like this poor bastard. Can't pick him off, sadly. This game is modeled in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro to be precise. Scary thought. Might bring in yet more of the uh the BR masses. Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. Well, I'm on it. I'm on it like a car bonnet. Also, I, I seem to recall that my my goal was to be finding some kind of suppressant thing that some old coot kept ordering from the pharmacy. Maybe that went over my head. Often does. Let's see if we can't make our way up here, though. Oh, that was just a side quest? Good. Means I can ignore it. Now... Could I get up there? I think I could. Oh, the survivor sense is tingling. <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe my BR sense was tingling. Oh, it's gotta have some emergency alcohol. There's even plenty of that in Paradox. There was a big globe thing. You could just crack it open for uh, a bottle of, bottle of God knows what inside. Do I have a map? M for map? Oh, it's not on the overpass. I thought it was. Looked like it was on the overpass, but that's my lack of depth perception for you. Are you? <laughs> this guy's gonna need tetanus shots when he gets back from all this. Okay, sounds like I'm not the first one here. Got here first. Fuck. Okay. Don't try to fight them. Just find Try to fight them, you say? I want those goodies, chumps. Oh, they throw things. Well, that's not very nice. Wonder if I could. Oh, okay, I can't go inside. Do 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 do. Whoa, now! Hope these guys don't have plot armor. I do intend on killing them. Although I feel like the feeling's mutual here. Holy moly, they, they really do mean business. Ah, I guess that's what my little health thing is. It's my med kits. Jeez! Maybe my friend was right to tell me not to take them on. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept those guns all right. Because yeah, these humans, they... They are ravaging me. And I haven't even taken out one of them, and my weapon is ineffective. Perhaps this gas pipe will do what uh, my previous thing could not. Jeez. Is there like a block button that I am not uh, aware of? Okay, now nah, the last who was right. These guys are too much for me. There's a dodge button. Hmm. That's beyond me. Yeah, I can press, I think, R to repair my weapon. Ooh, I can also root through the rubbish. This is Rio de Janeiro simulator, after all. Space in the direction you want to dodge. Ah, ooh, yeah, there we go. Swell, thanks. Nonsense, we're yeah, fine. There. I can do this. Like I can sell my coffee beans and cigarettes to this guy that I just found. You got anything oh, nice for me? Haran. Mine is by far the least shitty. Oh, I did some good damage these things supposedly deal. 
Oh, come on, my nasty old thing here will be fine. Unless you have some med kits. Hold on, I can make med kits. I have the technology. Not sure what the purpose of waiting for this is, since I'm in a paused menu, but what do I know? Just wrap up those concussions with gauze and alcohol and we're good to keep going. Oh no, that doesn't look good for me. is just dangerously fun. It is also getting rather dark though. I don't know, hard to see. <laughs> Maybe my survivor sense can help me out. Survivor sense. There we go, my survivor sense finds me a, a... a halva? Somebody more in the know tell me what a halva is? Guess the game could tell me. A halva. A halva? I... Uh, I don't know. You just ate it and it's a snack. Really? A nut-based snack. What did eating it do? I thought there was smoke I was meant to be going for. Aha! There we go. Time for my gibbs. So can I... Oh, clear the area with my boot. I was hoping maybe I could put them into the fire, but no. Oh, oh yes! Yes, yes I can. To a degree. we have here? Salvage the vials of Antizen. That's uh, it's quite a lot to hold back. Crane here. I'm about to recover an Antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing Anderson, destroy it. What? W what? Why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no answers in here. Done? Fuck! Fuck! All right. Get back here and be careful. The nightmares are awake. Don't let them see. Oh, shit. They must have heard me. <laughs> this sounds like a problem. And it looks like a problem too. Ah, but the game tempts me ever so. Double points for night. Alright, so, 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 so dear, I don't want to turn behind me. Because it doesn't sound good. 
I don't know where I'm going either. If I had to guess, I'm legging it homewards. <laughs> Jinx, the parkour stuff is shining in a moment like this. They're still even after me? That was worrying over nothing. Agility doubled, pursuit big agility, the longer you play outside safe zones, more survival of rank. Risk big, win big then. Yeah, that alone right there, Carrot Smuggler, confirms this game's got more spooks going piece. for it than Visage. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It is no picnic. Gotta report to him and tell him I don't have any antis in. Lying to everyone stinks, but I know the GRE is working for the greater good. New item, you say? Don't know which of these are new. Not big on crafting in a game like this. Brecken, come on. I mean, we need Anson. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. We didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... go. Are you serious? Well, this rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? You sure you're up for this? It has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. Burn down Race's place, you say? Actually, I get the impression that going to bread might be a good idea. Sleep off the dark times. Can I climb over that? No. Okay. Nighty night world. <laughs> but the double EXP. Yeah, the double EXP. You know, the experience gain is one thing that State of Decay 2 was really kind of sucky for. You gain experience so unbelievably fast in that game, which is a bit of a shame. It makes your leveled up survivors feel less valuable because you can just level somebody else up really quickly. Brecken is so desperate he's ready to deal with the devil himself, Rise. And since I'm supposed to determine whether or not Rice is the one who stole the GRE's secret document, well, this is the perfect opportunity. Skedaddle, unless do I have do I have like my nut bars and things to sell here? I assume we get the same. Oh, right, right. You give me free stuff every day. Right, well, give it to me. You'll give me a free claw hammer as well. That's very nice. Who else was giving me free stuff every day? It was that guy next to the uh, trailer. Can you hear me? Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's um... listen, Crane. We all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. 
because Amir died saving your life. Good old Amir. I'm doing it because if we don't get antis in from Rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but he was the best, most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I... Look, Jade. We'll talk when I get back with the Antizen, okay? Okay. Just... Just come back in one piece, alright? Is this uh, some kind of foreshadowing that we're going to lose an arm or some such to raise? Uh, that's what it smells like. Oh jeez. Let's not be slipping off here. Yeah, they keep talking about this light trap. What's all that about? Oh. Didn't seem that effective. Still not sure what that's all about. For mod games, they say that no continues to be allowed in multiple attempts, full restart. They intended or required to be one shot. What? Let me try and reread that. For mod games, they say that no continues. Oh, that say no continues. Would you be allowed multiple attempts? So, I generally don't let anybody take a second stab at it on the same day that they're doing it. There have certainly been full retries, but not in the same day. You need to sit in the corner and think about what you've done before you get a second chance. And if you just keep trying and keep failing, I'm, I'm gonna get sick of you trying and say you can't do that anymore. If Baron had failed Caesar 3 for the third or fourth time, I wouldn't have let him try it anymore. Because otherwise, it just you just keep going until you grind out a win. It's not what it's all about. Okay, Raheem, I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. Oh, JJ was pretty disgusting. Kept utterly floundering. He was making a real mockery of the uh, of the mod games. My survivor senses find. Fat lot of nothing. I'm gonna have a closer look at this map. How big is the whole world here? It's, uh, I don't know. Hopefully bigger than what the map is letting on here. Right. How bad is this bad guy? Probably not worse than us. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole in the tower? Alright. What does he want? I've come to make a deal. What kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. Alright. Let him through. This ought to be entertaining. And these guys are much better equipped than ours. Oh, I will work for these guys instead. This is like coming away from that gas station place that you have in State of Decay 2 and coming away to, gee, I don't know, the sawmill. Welcome, friend. But we are definitely on the wrong team. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. <sighs> Left! <coughs> Was that my left or your left? Look at this guy, he's got discipline. 
instilling fear and respect. The tower about you. What do you want? I like this guy. I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some antizim. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. I like this guy a lot. Really, what are we doing wasting our time with the dropouts in the tower? Also, can I have your... Yeah, he's even... Is he even going to let me have his rusty reed knife? I uh, still haven't fully figured out this part, but... These two things are busted up. Perhaps I should just drop them. Although the table leg had that glow that suggests it's perhaps it's quite good. Rusty reed knife. Let's, let's have that all equipped up, shall we? I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. Now I've got to cooperate with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of antizen stockpiled. We could become fast, actually. Can I unlock any of these? They all seem to be awfully locked up. I guess it's forcing me to get grapple. When an enemy charges, press Alt point in a direction to ex ah execute. I like the sound of that. Oh, but wait, I don't have the points. No, I got my survivor point. Money. How can I say no to money? The answer is I can't. Look at these guys are so well set up compared to us. You and I could be real good friends. Elaborate. Okay, now he's just being a tease. There you are. Rai said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. And if I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. These guys just seem much better than ours. What are we even doing? You know what? They're going to get my cigarettes. What could I get from them? Blueprint industrial grade leech. That's bleeding to weapons. Limited time off. Oh, I've got to buy that then, don't I? How do I make myself some leeches? Apparently I can. Is that something that I put on one of my weapons? I don't know. Did I just create that? I'm not sure. If, oh, you choose what you put it on. I see, I see, I see. So it adds bleed and damage to something. And I would probably want to put it on something with high durability, but none of these things have high durability. So I'll just put it on the rusty reed knife that I got here. Hey guys, look at this chicken shit. Is the implication that these are all bad guys because they sound a bit Slavic? That's cheap, man. Real cheap. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's Major Delmo, I guess. Or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem's sending me to fix some antennas for Rice. Nothing better than being an errand boy.
Now, as long as I get to run around and do some more parkour, it's all for the greater good. Can I leave this way? Yes, yes I can. Or maybe conceptually I can. Oh yeah, now that would be good. Just have a game where the uh, the Dutch are all the bad guys. Might fly over the heads of some people though. And you have to defeat them by raising water levels and drown them. It's the only way. Alright, I think we're onto a winner already. I need to be in contact with the publisher. Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. Do we really, though? Okay, okay. Find a telecommute. Oh, right, now I can run onto these and, without breaking my ankles, just land on the piles of garbage that make up Rio de Janeiro. Hey, Al Capone, you ready to do this? What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal so Rise can communicate with Atlas at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Perhaps, but the Emperor must monitor his empire. What's the button to activate my survivor senses again? Ooh, Halva! Chewing down in another bar. Again, not sure what that's doing for me. Maybe our survivor. Oh! <laughs> Yes, okay, maybe I can find some more shops. Batteries, nails, crafties. What was that button for my senses again? I thought it was X, but... Q, there we go. I did indeed just pat down a cash register. And it was a very nice cash register. It put out for me. Excellent sidetrack, dare I say. Let's go and do Kareem's job. Also, that name Kareem again. Oh, can't forget all these fluorescent shrooms. I'm sure they'll come in use one way or another, but for now, I've got to grab everything I can. Also, it's you again! I just let you be. Oh, I think he got he got stunned by. Oh, right. There's electricity in the ground, which I'm surprised is hurting them. They're wearing some rubber-looking welly boots. Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. It's you again. <laughs> Switch at the base, huh? Which I probably should have dealt with before coming up here. Just worried I might be in a bit of a pickle. But I opened this up from the outside, as I recall. Can I not squeeze my way back in? Ah. Shouting because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Not a bad reason. Well, it's it time to clobber him. All about the clobbering. 
Off you get. Also, can I pat you down? Swell. Alright, let's do what I have to do, which is... what exactly? To deal with that thing. What am I meant to be? I guess I need to open that thing, right? Which is what I was doing before I got distracted. All right, come on, swing, swing, man. Death. Everybody wins. Ups a daisy. Oh, that might not be winning for me. definitely not winning for me. Right, so do not back yourself into a corner with lots of zombies coming in. Lesson learnt. Where have I been taken back to? Oh, jings. Do they... I think they wipe all your unspent skill points. And I'm back in... Uh, back in Ryza's place here. Ryza? Razid? Rise? No, not really. I'm on your side now. Hold on, does my light trap work on you? Hopefully these guys are bleeding. Oh, jeez, that does hurt. It's getting worse before it gets better. Wrap up my nasty alcoholic sponge on myself. Take their stuff? I guess I need to kill them to take it. <laughs> These guys are so durable though. What is up with that? Enough going for me, zombie. Take it up with him. Okay, this is getting a bit ridiculous. Okay, I think he's finally down there. Good, good. 
it seems you get some good points for slaughtering them. Good, right. Give me all your stuff. You get off of me. Brick hammer seems like a good find, and yet more money, and... Oh no, not lock picking. That's a shame. Did the other guy pop his clogs? Well, enough to drop his cigarettes. I feel that the payoff wasn't quite matched by the effort required. You guys all go burn together. I'm here for the alcohol. It's a huge bag of cigarettes. I thought it would be like a nice big bag of drugs. Something worth some decent money. Oh! As Matty. Ah, right, right. The implication is don't make lots of noise. The whole making noise and hightailing it out of there was great in State of Decay 2. Oh, it's you again. Oh, wait, no, are you some kind of dangerous zombie thing? Oh, he's too dangerous for me. I should have healed up ahead of time. Yeah, I guess there are different kinds of virals that are going to give me different uh, levels of problems. Right, let's go and actually do this quest for Rises, because I'm curious to see what he's all about. Shame that I banged up my weapon, but I should be able to repair it later on. In fact, can I repair it now? Excellent. I read that as press H to use Reddit and thought, ye gods, why? I think you spent a bit too much time on Reddit, which is to say any amount of time on Reddit. I wonder if the cash machine has graciously refilled itself. The bins have? Oh, mm, well, maybe not. Oh, dang. Somebody did, uh, at one point, put up a DDR Jake Reddit page. <laughs> place is a ghost town. I'm not even sure what purpose it was there to fill. But I'm pretty sure it's shut down now. Or if nothing else, closed up in private. I am significantly uncomfortable with the idea of there being a DDR Jake subreddit. <laughs> it wasn't really the place for unbanned requests. That's just how things ended up working out. Right. First and foremost, you gotta go. You dead? Yoink. Now, let's activate whatever I need to activate around here. I feel like I've made the same mistake again. said for calling them virals. I guess in the world of zombie lore it's hard to come up with new and original name and virals is pretty good. to climb something like this. But I love heights. Better be exhausting though. Absolutely exhausting. What are my options even for jumping along here? Do you? Whoa! Okay. <laughs> It's 
not forget that I have a backpack full of stuff right now. If I get up there, it's there that I need to go, so up's the daisy. Maintenance people meant to be getting up here. Get the maintenance people. How am I meant to be getting up here? Before I come up, yay hi. I guess I could shimmy my way up here. Uh, whoa! <laughs> Scary stuff. Am I even... Yeah, I am meant to still be going up. Oh well. Croton's pointing out that I'm taking the hardest way possible. Oh, we can... Ah, we can just climb up the sides. Lucky us. So I probably need to launch myself over here. And... Keep going up some more. On the plus side, probably no zombies up here. Although I don't know if this is the kind of game that has zombies that can get up here. Even a feral from State of Decay would have a hard time getting up here. You want me to go outside? Oh, jeez. I wouldn't have the brass to go this far. Not my problem. What do we have up here? Somebody. Ooh, a flag. A bit exposed up here. Awfully messy as well. 17 bucks with my name on it. This is pretty good, Mossam Mordau. Pretty damn good. Unfortunately, I think the takeaway I'm going to get from this is that I'm going to wait for Dying Light 2 to come out and sink my teeth into that. Because ultimately, that release is not far away. I kind of want to enjoy that rather than spoil myself with this. Also, I think I came too far up. It's indicating that there is... Whoa! Okay. Indicating that something I have to do is further down than I am right now. Perhaps I missed something, like you. Uh, how? How did you get up here? Well, it doesn't really matter. The real important question is where are you going? And the answer is down. Farewell. Visceral. Okay, so I need to do something around here. Probably this box. Oh, oh did... shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck, I was afraid of that. All right, head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. Zip line? The zip line? Oh, me poor hands! Oof, no fingers left now. Yeah, I did pretty fine playing State of Decay 2 without the rich lore of State of Decay 1. Now, oh, I think that was really what I loved about. Well, one of the many Kareem, things I loved about State of Decay 2. second transmitter's trashed? The better question is. What will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably die horribly. Yeah, a real good strength of that game was its lack of need for any kind of story nonsense because if there are zombie games or zombie anything out there with good zo uh, good story, it's news to me.
really impressing me with this game is the the parkour element here. It's very good. Very, very good. Oh yeah, Baron, you've been playing quite a bit of Seven Days to Die, and I'll be honest, that game looks like complete ass. So, give me the Baron opinion on it. And whilst the game does visually look like ass, it also looks like a whole lot of ass to play. You are still playing it, but, you know, you are still playing Mario for 69 hours, so... Can't pass judgment on that alone. No, I never played Red Dead Redemption. Didn't look like my kind of game. harping at me about my unspent skill points and agility. Grappling, drop kicking. Press E in midair to execute. Ah, but that's not the same as executing somebody, is it? Press space while running at an enemy to jump over them. Ah, I prefer the drop kicking. Let's go with that. This game must have been a console release. The whole UI stinks of console and it's not a good smell. as safe as I thought. Oh, man. I'm liking the lack of needing to worry about stamina when running, or if there is something to worry about, it's uh, beyond me. Right, are you another vicious... No, that's the vicious thing. Right, well then, let's just... Oh, right, yes, explosions, bad idea. Significantly bad idea. Oh well, sometimes you just gotta run through your troubles, or sometimes you just gotta... Drop kick your troubles. Where'd it go? Less of that, please. Cream him at the second antenna tower, and the fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei, and probably his son Christoph. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. My performance so far, I think many things can stand in my way with impunity. Any busted part in this fence? Any ability to turn this off? <laughs> Maybe I meant to dig my way in with this shovel? Starting to milk, some cigarettes. Yeah, no, yeah, just jump my way. Oh, hello. And goodbye. be a way to turn off the power in here, but no. How about, how about, where was it? Let's switch out my busted old floor plank with a oh, brick hammer. Good damage, good durability. I like the sound of that, but I want to try the shovel. There we go. It definitely looks like ass, but I really like the crafting aspect, being able to build a base from scratch. I like searching ruins, they all have hidden loot. Once you level up a bit, you can scavenge the ruins. Definitely high tolerance of j ah, okay. We talking like Kenshi here? Oh, well, seems I don't need to worry at all. 
Okay, I can't beat him up, sadly. What, more agility? No, no, it's in power. Uh, melee throw, sturdiness, absorb more damage. Sounds useful for me, because I seem to be tanking a lot of damage right now. I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. Please stop. What's wrong with you? We're trying to stay alive here. That, these guys are killers. Yes, they're murderers. So we work for them. That's how we stay safe. I don't want anything to do with these guys. I won't have them bad mouth my main man, Rice. Not gonna just let me up, is it? No. Up we go, go. Yeah, I mean, I played some Kenshi, and I've watched a lot of Kenshi being played, and I really don't have any interest in that game. Or rather, I don't think I have the... I don't think I'm going to pour in the level of commitment it takes to truly enjoy Kenshi, which looks to be a lot of hours. Kenshi was rolled as a punishment game, if my memory serves well. And that was a bit of an unfortunate way to experience the game. You don't really... Within two hours, you're not really going to sure tap into what the game's about. What am I jumping up to here? There we go. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh dear. It's getting worse before it gets better. Well, there's no need to worry, Rippy. The punishment list will show exactly who deemed it a punishment game. I don't remember who, though. Remember, a punishment game should be at least one of three things. It should be punishing for me to play, punishing for viewers to watch, or extremely difficult. Which of those, if any, was Kenshi? I guess if you were a fan of Kenshi, it was difficult to watch. I want to be on the other side of that, so out I go, and oh boy. I don't really want to be making that jump, but hup! Okay, up a daisy. I remember watching this first-person perspective video of some people that were climbing way up to the top of some... I think it was some Chinese cell tower thing. Or some some big construction work. And, whoa, I would not, not have the brass for that. Not at all. Here's the part. And this thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem. Second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. You take a moment to enjoy the scenery of not Rio de Janeiro here. I wonder how much of this is accessible. You know, see that mountain over there? Can you climb that? Also, what's with our guy? He's, he's, he's kind of... Kind of shaking about. Are we having our other seizure? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. We've got a zip line that we can ride down home, I'm sure. Whee! Can I press space again to drop off? Yes, I can! Oh, ho, ho, that's a bad idea. Good thing my ankles are made of unobtainium. We're 
team? The antennas. Bracken told me. Communication is crystal clear now. Good job, man. This helps everybody, but especially Dr. Zera and Dr. Camden. They can hear each other without static for the first time since... Well, ever. See you back at the tower. Oh, hell no. I'm not in the business of rescuing people. Those guys got their own problem to duke it out. I guess in a game about parkour, you somewhat have to be nice and tolerant when it comes to fall damage. You're close to an inactive safe zone right now. Nah, not my problem. I'm here to get my payment, just like Balrog. Maybe there is stamina, right? I seem to be running out of breath and slowing down there. Hey, Crane, I got a second. I want to patch through to somebody who really wants to talk to you. Huh? Who? Is this Kyle Crane? Who wants to know? My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Ember. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. I just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. I am not happy to help. The job's done. Now it's time to get back to Rice and get that antizin. He didn't say he'd give us antizin, he said he would consider. And if nothing else, I can at least get myself 50 quid or so. You hear the jaw? You wouldn't let me. Show me the money. No, you're not the money man. You are the money man. Just look how much better stock this is than back home. Probably playing video games. What games does this look like? Take my ciggies and take my coffee and we're all- wait I can sell this other stuff can't I? Sell these nasty old broken bits that I have. <laughs> Give me a tenner for a pipe. Oh, he wants my, my nasty old shrooms. For a limited time only he'll give me a hundred quid a- well, I'm loaded. Two thousand dollars for three days work. Not too shabby. Yeah, I was thinking looks uh, looks more like playing hardcore on that Pokemon ROM hack. All right, Rice, where's my goodies? Well, you not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. <sighs> all right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. Really generous man. I don't know why I destroyed the Antazine. Surely I could have simply hidden it. An asset to pull out at a later date. Ah, my friend. Rice likes you, I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a 
cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no? I wonder if I could get a firearm to add to my itinerary of convincing. They don't seem to be giving that out, though. In fact, the only access to gun I had was through that DLC pay-to-win nonsense, and I'm... I'm not up for that. Here I was thinking that the game did just start you out with a pistol and shotgun. And now I'm criminally disappointed in myself. I can't say I'm surprised that Rise went back on his word. But the GRE won't let me just walk away. Plus, if there's any chance that we can get that Antis in, I have to try. So this time he wants me to gather protection money from the surrounding settlements. And after this, he better hand over the drugs. Spent skill points, you say. What are we now? Crafting, more items, same material. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, we'll speak with the GRE and see what these settlements have to offer us. I can pocket the payment money for myself. Oh, we can swim. Oh, we can swim deep. Now, how much air do we have? Or is this something resembling a bad idea? Oh, no, no. We can breathe this nasty sewage air in not Rio de Janeiro. And get myself a submerged roll of duct tape. That <laughs> can't be right. Is this it? Does my survivor sense speak of anything else here? This is grim. Not sure if it's grimmer than Grimsby, but it's pretty grim. Oh, I can't pick a lock to save my life, Luftwaffles. And I can't seem to climb out of water either. Okay. Don't even have any uh, any med kits on me. Can we change that? Yes, we can. Is there an option to just craft all? No, we've got to craft them one at a time. What consoles did this release for? I am 100% certain this came out on consoles. It might even might even have come out first on console. <laughs> PS4, Xbox, and what? This came out in the Switch. Ah, huh, um. <laughs> Very curious about that one. How does it look on the Switch? Did it have to cut anything to be put on there? You know, other than the graphics, for sure. I mean, that goes around until it doesn't. Yeah, bye-bye, pick. Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, Crane out. Thomas says, I've been watching your Frostpunk video. Someone asked about RimWorld. You said you'd never play it as it's been early access too long and you're not interested. Funny how things change. What changed your mind of it? Did I really not play, uh, I really have that stance? Well, I have no good reason to doubt what you're saying there. Anyway, I don't play games that are in early access. RimWorld, as it happened, came out of early access and was very good. Any exceptions to that are only there to prove the rule. Anything. 
anything and everything. What do my survivor senses say? Where are the goodies? Yeah, they're not here enough. Frostpunk release was indeed half a year before RimWorld left EA. Well, how about that? Fire is just leaping out at you from here. Ah, oh, that's right, I didn't actually use any of the medkits I got my hands on. Wrap it around my watch. Just pat down everything for money. Get out of here, this is my place to loot. This is how Kalpa keeps his set up here. Picture of Kalpa's dog. Sign saying happy driver. Of all the bus drivers I know, Kalpa's my favorite. And the only. Hey Kareem, I'm by the wheel station. Talk you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the first stop. Right, persuade Jafar. Kind of wishing I had my gun now. Things locked up tight, eh? Hello. Maybe if I make a lot of noise and bring a lot of zombies here, they will understand. <laughs> Well, it looks like you're getting all this agility stuff from just doing things like climbing up. I wonder if you just grind it out by jumping up and down over the same place. It appears so, but I'm sure that goes against the spirit of the everything. Now, where are they? Hey, I'm running a special right now. You the guy I'm looking for? No, you're just giving me a toxic striker blueprint and no gun. Durable knife for sale, but yeah, it's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the protection money, chumps. You Jafar? Oh, I understand all. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rice sent me, and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're just some random asshole. Fuck off. I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay. Jesus. You are one of Rise's thugs. You guys are the only ones who act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa, su casa. Just don't hurt me, alright? How much money are we talking about here? Also, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping that I would have to rough him up a bit and actually get a chance to break his legs. Where'd he go? Ah, there he is. Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next you collect the tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east, to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us there. Huh. Rock kick's not bad, I just would like to be able to execute enemies that are on the ground. Crane, how you doing, mate? I'm running errands for Rise. He wields a lot of power, scares a lot of people. Damn right he does. This wait time's getting short. We're almost out of answers in. Much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting worried. I'm doing the best I can out here, Brecken. I know, I know. I understand. I just want you to be aware of the stakes. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. All right, all right. Here's hoping you can make it back to the tower soon. I strongly recall pocketing some antazine for myself and only myself when we found that crate. <laughs> or the several crates, you know, the ones we destroyed. I'm reminded slightly of Dead Rising. Uh, there was a fun game to go and drop kick zombies in. 
was a fun game to do just about anything you wanted to zombies in. <laughs> We're Greg, though. I saw something I've never seen before. This huge bloated infected just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out everything in a three meter radius. You kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't I didn't see anybody, just fucking zombies. Alright. You'll have to go to the village directly, I suppose. Look for a man named Garsel. As soon as can I get through here to reach there? You know, the question is, is any more money for me out here? That's the real question. Have you tried Days Gone? I have not tried Days Gone. thing is, the zombies in the game need to be the means to an end, and in State of Decay it was about building up your survivor community, which I really enjoyed. Could have been improved further, I think, if there was a bit more to the base building of the game. Being able to, say, erect those walls and such would have been damn good. Hmm. Feels like I'm still meant to be going through here. Ah, no, no, if I take this route. What's that down south a bit and round we go to the Fisher Village? Very well. And Dead Rising was just like one big playground of a game. So that's like just want to play Room. Oh, who doesn't just want to play some RimWorld? But I have played a lot of RimWorld lately. I don't need to play some more. What is... Th Something sounded awfully loud there. Okay, so that is killing them. Excellent. Fortunately. Having trouble grabbing his stuff. Can't go back, there's still money to be had. Ah, <laughs> uh, what can I do but remember that scene in Team America? You may have to take your own life, and he just hands him a hammer. Should really rewatch that film at some point. Let's take advantage of our unbreakable legs. Boy, we wouldn't get away with that in PUBG. That's exactly what I'm doing right now, says Proto, being raided my mech okay, during a solar flare, the no village, less. But there's a whole horde of infected in there. So Ah, clever point. Good thing I can kick for dip. Man, there's a lot of zombies around here. Close the gate. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Stop more of them coming in first and foremost. So what's with these idiots not closing their own gate? I gotta get that gate closed before more of those fuckers get inside. Ah, 
Ah, I know, this campfire. So they've discovered we're camp. There we go. Oh wait, that wasn't enough. Dang. Also, let's not forget our mantra. Pat them all down for goodies. <laughs> Despite the risk. Find leader, get money. Now I might have to do some convincing, so let's keep ourselves topped up on health by wrapping a gammy bandage around our watch. So how much fishing does this fishing village do? Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. You brought the monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them. All of them? Rai sent me. You, Gersel? Oh, you were for Rai's. Uh, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more frickin' tell him. Ayla, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Firkin gonna kick your ass. Do it, Firkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment, so you make the payment, and things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, Firkin. Give me a break, Isla. All right, fine, here. This is all of it. Ugh. A real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. I mean, I'll take care of Isla on the house if you want. There's still plenty left in this hammer. Well, enough for her at least. Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self hatred fades eventually. Just one pickup to go at the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry? Well, there was until the Navy sent it to the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there waiting for another one that never came. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water. Any guess how those infected got through the fence? Guess. I know exactly how they got in. That masked nut job soared through the husp. Who are you talking about? They call him Gas Mask Man. He lives outside. He's crazy in the head. So he wears a gas mask all the time. Like it's going to protect him. And you're sure it was him? One of the guards saw him cut the husp and run off. Someone's got to do something about that guy. Well, it's not going to be me, that's for sure. Can I take a kip here? I feel a little sleepy. Uh, I thought I had tea for flashlight, but no. Oh, I'm just going to sleep out in the open here? Oh, fine by me, I guess. Ah, this isn't really what I was hoping for. Let's just sleep even longer. Sleeping for 11 hours, that sounds like me. I'm a little unconvinced on how money could in any way be influential around here, especially money in the in the level of thousands. They did away with that in State of Decay, they just called it Influence, which made a bit of sense. It's my ultimate protection in, day in um, PUBG. Staying in an upturned car, they never expect it. Except that person that expected it threw a grenade at me and killed me. That was bad news for me. Jake every morning. This isn't what I want to go back to sleep. They're not far off. 
I don't set alarms anymore. And I gotta say, life without an alarm clock is at least a 30% better life. All things, uh, all things otherwise equal. These things normally come in three, so I assume this is the last pickup we've got to do. Oh yeah, I've been playing PUBG off stream. I've clocked 19 hours total in it now. You the you the guy? No, you seem pretty carefree. This doesn't look all that safe. I'm here to make a pickup for Rise. Back already? We just paid off you blood suckers. <sighs> Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rise said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it going to take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire. Jesus Christ. You people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. Hey, for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it, aren't you? Fail? Fail what? I'm still taking the money. Wait, where is that satchel? Um... Ah, there we go. Not what I was <laughs> Use your survivor hey, senses. I'm in the collection at the ferry station, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now, come back and claim your prize. Good job today. Find that wee prize. What exactly did I fail there? I didn't see any kind of prompt to do anything. Yeah, maybe it was just a general reminder of the failure we've become. Crane, Crane, do you copy? I copy, what's wrong? Someone's turned on the 18th floor. We're doing our best to contain the situation, but... We can't sugarcoat this, Crane. We need Anderson right fucking now! Rise has promised me two crates, Brecken. Two crates. I'm doing this shit as fast as I can, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> After that 11 hour nap. Just hurry, please. Okay, I'm guessing Rise is not going to pay up and we're going to have to make some difficult decisions. Like, we've got our entity and everybody else's problem is exactly that, their problem. I know we're in a hurry, but let's just stop, take a breather, and of course spend those points. Uh, it was survivor points, right? No, no, it's agility. What can we be better at? Hmm? Regenerate health. I wasn't even aware I'm regenerating health, but okay. Does that mean I'm passively getting it back? Or is it just when I use a... Uh, a rag soaked with... Powers whiskey. It's uh, it's doing a bit more for us. All right, just out my way. Kicky, kicky, kick, and through we go. But where even am I? Crane, how close are you? I don't know. About halfway back, I guess. Good. I need you to make a quick detour. Why? Patrols went off the grid somewhere near the market. How is that my problem? I'm making it your problem. See if you can find them, or don't bother coming back. Well, why not? We put ourselves in this errand boy position after all. Hold 
on, are these nice people? No, that's a zombie. And that is also a zombie. Get out of here. It might be something like touching those clearly nasty looking zombies is gonna hurt me, but nothing special about doing with these guys. Mm. Ooh, stuffed turtle. Seems like a small thing to stuff, but I'd be up for that. survivor sense is telling me. Anything worth our time? Oh, go figure. The lock picking wasn't great in Morrowind. Doesn't Korean look like it's improved much. Something ripped them limb from limb. Search the bodies. Look for some blueprints in a small envelope. And don't damage them. They're worth more than all... Holy shit! What? Oh my! I have a feeling things are going to get a little deadly for me here. Can I take the keys? Yeah, there we go. Keys for what, though? Oh man, don't be telling me that. I could do with some grenades. What's my inventory full of? Probably rubbish like these gas pipes. Hold on, there was something about dismantling. Yeah, there we go. Get ourselves some nails and whatever else there is here. I need space for this stuff. DIY grenades. Now, how was I meant to switch between those again? There was a button that... It's the numbers, that's right. Is that a DIY grenade? Probably. Have I been shot at? Probably by them. Not yet, wait a sec. Was that even a grenade, or was that just some kind of, uh... Some kind of light? I don't know. Yeah, I think it might be a flare. Don't know how I go between them, though. Need to equip it. Yeah, that makes a world of sense. Ah, yes, here we go. Why in the world would I want flares? And why in the bigger world would I want these, uh, drunken pumpkins? Get me my DIY grenade, and, 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 gee, I'm not sure if there's anything else here worth having. Maybe I could just, just get it off of there for one. Okay, now, up to Daisy, and, oh, jeez, what? Not sure what that was. I guess somebody lobbed a grenade at me. Ah, oh, well, let's do that again. I should try playing PUBG in first person for a change. I always do it third person. It's a bit gamey, but I am not well versed in first person games. News that I'm sure surprises none. Oh, that's not the button I wanted to use. Holy smokes. Yeah, 
Yeah, those fast buggers are something else. Some PUBG. I'm not so sure I'd be streaming PUBG. It's a kind of comfy, casual game to play because you can just leave it running for five or ten minutes, say, between matches or if you're in a position that you just need to hold for a while. And then just go and do something else, and that's quite nice. On stream, I think it's significantly less nice. Plenty of games that I like to play, but actually I find it much more enjoyable to play off stream than on. Point of all this, we might survive or set. Ah, there was a drop here. Of course. Crunch. So I've already checked you. I imagine I still have the keys. Now, are they or are they not throwing grenades at me? Well, that seemed effective. Maybe I'm better at this than I thought. A lot of screaming, though. There's some way in here. Oh, no, just root through the garbage for some string. That works fine. Probably some way to jump over that, right? Putting my parkour skills to the test. <laughs> There we go. Now give it to me. And now we're on to something. Forget the gas. Actually, forget the shovel. Not a big fan of the shovel. How's this going to operate? Oh, poorly without ammo. You got some ammo for me? That's a walking disappointment. So, uh, what now? <laughs> Seeing things is not my strong point, but I don't know, it's blueprint. Ah, you. Got some blueprints for me? Okay, I got it. Hear that? Some actual respect. We sure didn't find that in the last place. Hey you! Come over here! I'm on the antenna! Do you see me? Sounds like a you problem, Alexi. I need your help. Ah, I got my hands full. So I think it's safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. And you know the old saying. It is better to be feared than loved, if one cannot be both. Ah, uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. I've got his book. <laughs> it was a very thoughtful present I got some years ago. Machiavelli's the prince. <laughs> and it's probably the last book I've ever read. Can't think of anything I've read since then. Maybe Machiavelli should have written more books then. A hey, good point. Are we going to read the things that we got here? Mm, doesn't even show up in our... Wait, a pouch? A small pouch with some petty jewellery. 250 quid. That could be my 250 quid. Ah oh, man, the parkouring feels so good. Now, I wonder, do you die? Not you. You get out of my way. You get off of me. I want to see if you die to being shot in the head. 
It seems they do. Ooh. I really... Oh, and I can have his... Re Get off of me! I'm trying to think here. I want that rebar. What's this guy's problem? Thanks, mate. You saved my sorry ass. You gonna give me something for that? Ah, uh, he seems to know what he's doing. Did I just go around in a circle there? I want that rebar. I really want to put that rebar to some use. Gas pipes, no big use, but heavy rebar. What do we have here? Terrible durability, immense damage, no handling. Ah, that's my kind of weapon. Where am I going? I'm at the right place, I just need to find my way in again. Which I have a habit of failing at. But I also want to bring this ton of fun down on somebody. Do I hear a volunteer? Uh, you're not really what I want to be dealing with. In fact, I think I might have a solution for dealing with you. If I bring you over here, and I- Oh! Well, this became a problem. Seems he had some friends. I was gonna kick him onto the spike, see if that does it. Oh, yes. Yes, this is the me weapon, I think. Can I hit multiple people with it? Maybe, not sure. But I want to be sure. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, you get away from me, though. <laughs> okay, right, enough goofing off here. I got places to be. Let's knock nicely now. Hmm? Right, here are the blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. <laughs> if you show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. Give them a hand, and you can your whole life. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets, and you can have a simple task. I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Andesan. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine. Like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. <sighs> Your people need the Antezine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. <laughs> if you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir, she's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this Scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it would take for someone of her caliber to, uh, break. What? No! Now forget it, I'm not doing it! I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? 
or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. A lot of assumptions are being made there, Race. Ah, shit. Alright, let's go and... Yeah, find a private spot. Last time we found this private spot, we were well within seeing and hearing distance of this place. So I'm not so sure this guy has a good head about him for being covert. Still, let's do what we gotta do. Really launch yourself up at times. Oh right, yeah, one of these speedy buggers. I wonder how much they like this. Come get some. Oh, I'm not even sure if it knows I'm here. Perhaps I don't even know. <laughs> Let's use this private spot within spitting distance of the old HQ. Crane here. Report. I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole. Alright, I think I've seen all I need to see around here. You gonna go for that? Nah, they're too clever for their own good. And this weapon is too good. Uh, okay, I think I've had my wild card fill of, uh, of this game, that's for sure. It's a pretty good game, but what I think I'll be doing is waiting for the sequel. Go and check that one out, see if it can be the State of Decay 2 to this game's State of Decay 1. If this one can be called one. <laughs> so yeah, pretty good game. Probably for the better that this one didn't win the uh, the long play vote. But what did win was Ama Yui, and I need to make sure that game is ready to rock and roll for next week. What is also going to rock and roll is tomorrow's weekly one-shot. It's going to be a long one. I'm going to run three of the... Uh, Professor Layton games back to back. I suspect that's going to take a long time, and I also suspect that my puzzle solving abilities are going to severely degrade as time goes on. Probably going to be 24 hours or thereabouts, which could also make some trouble for the betting. Still, that is, as I like to mortgage my issues, a future Jake problem. So until I'm back with that tomorrow at about, well, it'll be about this time tomorrow. It's a cheers and a cheerio.